Hi guys, so we're going to do a reading for Sagittarius December, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of December. We'll go ahead and get the Tarot deck shuffled for you that I'm going to be using. But we are actually going to start this off with some real ash messages to kind of get a direction of what the energy is in December and we'll use the tarot deck to get whatever this situation is for the collective message for you guys. So there's something you need to proceed with caution about. Uh, tread lightly, be careful, pay closer attention to something. That could be anything, but we're definitely going to use the tarot. Um, something about a trip you're planning or maybe planning, uh, I don't know. There may be something like you guys may need to like read the, um, you know, that the stuff that is in the booking information. Uh, there may be some confusion that's going on or something that you may not know more about or some kind of situation that someone is ignorant to. Um, there's no room for insecurity. So there's going to be a need for someone to be confident about this whatever this is and to not be worried wherever you go because fear and insecurities will not help this situation so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the tarot deck that i've already shuffled and then we're gonna go and see this so i have the hermit here which is virgo energy i have the eight of pentacles here and I also have the Magician. So your reading's looking a lot like Libra's. Um, <laughs> there's something about you needing to do some soul searching and doing some introspection and really figuring out, working on whatever it is you're trying to create this month. Um, some of you, you need to start envisioning the reality it is that you want to, you know, basically see yourself in and start making sure you um, feel confident that it can happen. And to also, you know, I feel like there's something that you're working on here that is like a soul project and you may not know exactly what it is or what direction and you may be isolating yourself and staying in, like keeping yourself closed off from others as you're working on this. And I feel like uh, there's something about you needing to be careful. So I want to see what the proceed with caution is for you, Sag. But I feel like there's something at work there where there may be some trickery. I'm not really sure or something you're working on. Um, but there's something with a Scorpio here, death in reverse. So it's something about someone is resisting the inevitable, like avoiding something that is definitely coming to an end at the bottom of the deck ace of cups so it was a new beginning that again i feel like it is now it's upsetting and it's a new it's a new beginning of upset around whatever this situation is um the reverse wheel of fortune here maybe about a misfortune or a bad turn of fate some kind of karma that some kind of bad karma that could be involved in this or some kind of fated situation that can be avoided but yeah the ten of swords in reverse there's still peace and hope on the horizon with whatever the situation is but i feel like there's been something about someone not being there's something about this not really being able to be a fair trade or a fair transition or something about somebody not being generous or somebody needing to walk away or not go in the direction they're going in there may be somebody that is needing to be cut off or not able to go someone's not really wanting to leave or go because they feel like it's something about some bad luck that could happen about whatever this is and so if you feel like it's a trust your gut about whatever a situation may come up where you feel like you need to avoid something because it may be bad luck avoid it because 
there's some kind of mental perception of it being a um, you know, a painful ending with this Ten of Swords and it comes back off and on with whatever this is. So whatever it is you're confused about, you need to be confident about it, I feel like is what this is saying. What else for my Sagittarius? But it's something you're working on or something involving some people at work. Two of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Three of Cups in reverse. Some disharmony. It's something about some people not really getting along the way they need to. And it's causing a disruption of some kind. And it's causing people to be unhappy. Um, people are miscommunicating or someone's feeling left out. And it's, it's something about, you know, some work needing to be done. You know, progress needs to be made. So that things can go as planned accordingly. Um, I feel like definitely here, you may feel like you can't really trust whatever these people are. Like you feel like you have to only, you can only kind of trust in yourself with this hermit this month because you're doing that inner reflection and you know you're channeling your inner wisdom and you're kind of taking yourself away from the chaos. And you're kind of like, you know, channeling that inner mentor of yours that you, I feel like some of you are very deep and very spiritual. And so um, I want to get you guys a little bit of advice for my Sagittarius in December. But yeah, you guys are definitely need to trust the direction you're going with whatever this situation is. And I feel like some of you definitely need to Take a trip and get yourself um, away from whatever it is to really kind of maybe do like a spiritual retreat of some kind to kind of ground channel and center. But um, we have the, the advice here, the three of cups, maybe surround yourself with people who are nothing like the energies that have you kind of feeling disrupted and disconnected. There's something about you and um, some people feeling like oil and water. And if you feel like that about these people, then it's best for you to stay away for right now. Really be around people and celebrate, you know, with people that are um, going to bring out the lighthearted and cheerful times and the uh, blissful memories. And definitely cut out anybody, like I said, that is incompatible with your energy. And there's just not really any good vibes because there are some people in your energy this month that you'll be able to experience some good things with, but there's some soul searching you're doing on your own so that you're able to manifest and create whatever it is that you want to see in 2023 is pretty much what I'm seeing here. Because some of you nine of wands have been through some tough battles. You've had to persevere. You're determined to keep going like you're multifaceted. And I see that you've been through some cycles and some phases that could have tore a lot of people down, but it's done nothing but made you stronger. And so I applaud you guys for that. And I hope that if you haven't had a happy birthday yet, that you do at some point in this December month. And I also hope you guys know that I want you to have a good holiday season as well if you celebrate the holidays. And if not, I still want you to have some blissful times. So... That is what I have for you for this month, Sagittarius. I will be doing a 2023 Outlook message. I'll also be rolling the Zodiac dice before I forget so that you guys can see what energies may be popping up around December for you. So we have here Cancer Energy, okay? We also have here Virgo, and y'all popped up in their reading too, by the way. If I'm not mistaken. We have here Capricorn. We're gonna get one more. Okay, we have Virgo again. So I'm gonna get one more. Y'all already know about them. Y'all already know about Capricorn. <laughs> they are really thinking about you guys. You're thinking about them. Okay, so we have Aries. So Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries for you and so guys i do do personal readings if you want one like share subscribe let me know down in the comments if you like these readings and until next time guys i hope you have a great day and week